So what is the future of human communication? I am fascinated by the synesthetic quality of language, the fact that we can encode ideas and images into little vocal patterns and then transmit those vocal patterns through time and space. Language is the first synesthetic wireless technology of intersubjective communication. Language gives us the capacity to step into the mind of another, to step into the world, into the consciousness of another POV. But language is still a crude instrument. As Flaubert wrote, at the end of the day, language is like a cracked kettle on which we tap crude rhythms while we long to make music that will melt the stars. At the end of the day, human beings have this urge to exteriorize their consciousness, and they've experimented with a diverse set of ways in which to do this, whether it's songs and lyrics or poetry or art or cinema. All of these things reflect mankind's historical drive to manifest his consciousness outside of his mind in front of his eyes to create a common coherent experience where we can all experience a communal POV a communal intersubjective space where our separate minds can become one. Now, Terence McKenna talks about the brilliant capacity of the octopi of communication, right? The octopi become their meaning. The octopi turn language into something that is exteriorized and can be visibly beheld. Terence McKenna points out the astonishing footage that has been captured of octopi in their natural environments, blending into their environments, becoming one with the background so that they can hide in plain sight. So they essentially become their intention. Language becomes something visibly beheld. They become their meaning, right? They wear their mind on their skin, right? Oh my God. So imagine then, speculate then, about the future of human communication, how on the back of things like virtual reality and augmented reality, we'll essentially synergize universes of our own construction. We'll essentially be able to move into our imagination and exteriorize the contents of our minds. It will transform the nature of intersubjectivity because when you want to be intimate with somebody, you won't just speak or write them a poem or author them a song. Instead, you'll be able to invite them into your mind to share the psychic landscapes of your imagination as a actual exteriorized space that a person can immerse themselves and inhabit. The octopi point the way. The octopi show that biology has come up with an even richer solution to convey meaning with an organism that becomes its meaning. The future of human communication, I believe, the future in which consciousnesses will share meanings will be one of telepathy, will be one of intersubjective objective totality, where we will become what we will behold. We will become our meaning. We will trans transmit our insides into our outsides. The world will become the condensation of human imagination. <laughs>